Hey guys, today we're gonna be learning how to brine your anchovies. So basically, as you can see here, we have a lot of anchovies. They're a little bit bigger than usual, about, um, let's see, 10, 20 centimeters. So, this is how you're gonna brine your anchovies. First, you're gonna need either some toilet paper, uh, tissue paper, newspaper, anything like that, separate the layers. I like to use two, like, two sheets of, uh, the toilet papers. Then separate, yeah, separate them. So, put them down first. In there. There we go. Then what we are going to do is get some salt. Now you can choose either to sprinkle it all over your tissue paper or sprinkle it all over this. So after you sprinkle the tissue paper or the anchovy, you're going to put the anchovy row by row nicely like this. Make sure they don't touch each other or else well, it just wouldn't work as well, but, eh, it doesn't have to. So just keep doing this, like so. More anchovies, boy. Now this, uh, will help your anchovies stay on the line for longer. Like, ten times longer as when I just use the store-bought ones. They lost it only for two, three costs. Right, what we are going to want to do after this step is pour salt on them again. Now the salt is probably going to suck out the juices of the anchovies. Just cover them with salt. Now, and then... Get more tissue paper or toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you want to do with it. And then layer it over the anchovies. Like this. Sorry for the bad camera display. I should have used my tripod for this. And then keep repeating these steps. Then you'll be good to go. Keep doing this over and over again until, you know, you run out of anchovies or whatever. And then leave it for one to two days when you think that's enough time for them to, you know, let the juices get out of them. And then what you want to do after that is remove the sheets of paper and, you know, because they'll be soaked in uh, anchovy juices, stuff like that. And then, just do exactly what we did again. And then you should be good to go. Sooner or later, they will be as hard as cardboard, basically. And they will be super hard to get off your hook. Trust me on this, because I have caught some amazing stuff like salmon, barracuda, anything, basically. Like, well, I have caught a blue cod on this for some reason. That was a decent size. Took it home, ate it. Really nice. Don't see how any fish could turn this down. I would eat this. Actually, no, I'm probably going to get sick from that. Oh well. Well, that does it for this episode. See you guys on the next one. See ya.